Hi everyone, on uh, this topic I will talk about Delta DX router setting and the remote access PLC. System architecture, you can see we use a Delta Ethernet type uh, cloud router uh, DX2300. Uh, for the web port, we have connect to internet. And for the local side, uh, we use the standard LAN cable linked to, to the PLC and the uh, laptop. For laptop, Basically, here is only for the setting. So once you finish the DIA device configuration, then you can remove this cable. So here I can show you. Uh, at the moment, uh, we link to the Ethernet router. Okay. And next step, uh, we will use the DIA device. This software is actually inside the DIA com uh, to do the network setting and the bind device. So uh, once you install the DIA com, then you can see the DIA device and we click uh, detect. Then uh, enter the password admin, then uh, go to the network setting. Uh, so here you can see we have uh, three steps. First one is uh, define the uh, win type or if you use the uh, SIM card type, then you have to select the corresponding one. A uh, second step, uh, if you don't use the HTTP proxy, then you just select uh, disable, then go next, uh, you will connect to the DI cloud. Uh, second portion will be a uh, bind device. So you can uh, go back to here, then click the bind device and enter your DI cloud account uh, password. And then just keep the default setting and go to next step. Now we switch to the DIA device. So we click detecting, then uh, enter password admin. Okay, uh, because this one already setting, so you will see the internet as uh, connected. But uh, basically, you just click uh, network setting and enter here, and keep this one in the DHCP dynamic. Okay, and as I mentioned, if you don't use the HTTP proxy, then you just uh, disable, and go to next. Uh, it might take some time to apply the network setting, so just wait, and then uh, you will see it already done. Then we click uh, finish back to uh, setting page, then we click uh, bind device. Uh, here, as I mentioned, you have to enter the uh, DIA cloud account. Okay, so you enter your uh, cloud account and password, then click next. And also uh, wait, so you will go to this page and you keep the default setting, then uh, bind the device and wait. Okay, after binding uh, finish, then actually you can remove the LAN cable. So we uh, remove the LAN cable. So you will see now it's uh, unplugged. So we will connect to the Ethernet router through uh, Wi-Fi. And then uh, we can go back to here and how to access the DI cloud, or you have to enter the uh, account and password, same as uh, what you uh, bind the device. And then you can check the status of the uh, cloud router. Okay, so now we enter the account and the password and log in. So you will see uh, how many devices are uh, bound to the account. Okay. Then you can uh, see some basic function over here. And if you want to uh, remote access some uh, data register, you can also do the configuration over here. Then uh, next, uh, we are logging the DI comps to create the tunnel. So again, here we will use the same uh, account and password. So DI com, uh, we fill in the account and password then log in. So after that, you will see uh, you will pump up this, then we can uh, click create the tunnel. Then you will show or uh, disconnect. 
So that means you already established the connection. So next step, uh, what we need to do is uh, create a driver in a car manager. Okay, so we come to the car manager, then here we define the name as uh, DIA com. Uh, because the type we use would be the Ethernet or uh, access point Wi Fi. Okay, so the connection type we select the icon and then uh, we can click uh, refresh and then we can click uh, search. Uh, sorry, uh, here you have to uh, set the driver first, then you can click the search again. So you will pump up, or you will connect with the uh, DIA com search. So we just wait it until this go to 100%. We will see the IP address of this PLC we connected with the Ethernet router. Uh, by the way, here normally I would suggest you uh, increase the number maybe to 10 and set the station ID to 1 and then we can set the driver. Then we'll go back to the ISP shop for tour and communication setting. Here uh, we will select the DI com and select the station one and uh, this is the IP address. Okay, and we can check the POC status over here. Okay, so we create a program and download. Uh, we add the POU. Okay, then we click download. Then uh, we can switch online. Okay, so you can do the on-off control. Uh, so that's all for this topic. Uh, thank you.